uh, David Kilnan and Mary Butler. Two minutes each. Well, Margaret, um, uh, last Ken Corla, um, I know the Minister for Health has said he can't be here today himself. Uh, I think that's unfortunate given the issue that has been raised. As the Minister of State will know, this is a very important issue for the people of the South East. Uh, there was a big disappointment when the Herity report was published and the favourable recommendation that people were hoping for did not happen. And uh, five, of, five of the six Oireachtas members in Waterford have sought a meeting with the Minister for Health and hospital consultants, and to date he has still not responded, despite the fact that this was made two weeks ago. He's acknowledged receipt of the letter, but he has not agreed to a meeting, and yet he's not here today to take the um, motion, which I think is unfortunate. The Minister has said over and over again in his response to the media when he's questioned on this that he will accept the Herity report and the recommendations which are made. And I'm somebody who passionately believes that health care should be, should be provided and only provided on clinical and medical need. But the questions that the Minister for Health have to answer is this. The HSE and the Department both describe University Hospital Waterford as the regional hospital for the South East. And it goes on then to talk about the regional services that the hospital provides. And the very first one they state is cardiology services. It doesn't say a part of the South East or a percentage of the South East, it says the entire South East. We then had the publication of the Higgins Report, which reconfigured hospital services um, in the South East and elsewhere. And a clear assurance was given in that report to the people of the South East that University Hospital Waterford would continue to be the provider of invasive cardiology services for the population of the South East. And again, it doesn't say a part of the South East or a percentage of the South East. So how is it then that we had a report commissioned to look into expanding services that did not have in its terms of reference that the hospital was the regional provider of cardiology services and that an effective population of just over half of the South East was then used? Mm -hmm. How is that the case? And that's what is upsetting hospital consultants in Waterford, it's upsetting clinicians, it's upsetting us as the members across the region and upsetting people who came out onto the streets last uh, week. So we need to hear from the Minister you, himself, the Minister for Health. Does he believe that University Hospital Waterford is the regional hospital that provides regional cardiology services? And if he does, then the logic of that is he cannot accept the Deputy conclusions of the Heritage Report. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Ken Corley. And Minister, I have submitted this topical issue in a bid to ask the Minister for Health directly to meet with cardiac consultants at University Hospital Waterford who dispute the findings of the recent Heritage Report. The Minister indicated straight away that he was accepting the findings of the report. However, there is a clear feeling in Waterford that a second opinion is required and that the Minister should listen to it. Consultant cardiologist Patrick Owen said lives were at stake, and I quote, as the method used to determine the catchment for the laboratory was wrong. Dr. Patrick Owens also went on to say the issue should be revisited by the government in consultation with local consultants and Dr. Herity. The consultants believe the review is flawed and they utterly reject the findings of the report. The consultants pointed out the report wrongly based its estimate of the catchment population for cardiac services in the South East on patient flows in the unit to Waterford. They didn't take into account the constraints on capacity and said the report's recommendations were invalid because of this. Dr. Rob Landers also criticised the clinical review, which suggests that another cat lab isn't needed at University Hospital Waterford and said the southeast of the country is uniquely disadvantaged when it comes to cardiac care. This is not some parish pump politics here. This issue is overwhelmingly one of clinical safety for the people of Waterford and the southeast. The Health Minister said he won't deviate from the report's recommendations. Minister, when a consultant says that a report you are committed to implementing is flawed, when he says that your decision could compromise clinical safety and that patients will die, when, when consultants say, when the Minister says that he doesn't have a duty to meet with the consultants in Waterford, do they not at least deserve to be heard? Minister, I've already written to you, to Minister Harris, on behalf of the Oireachtas members of Waterford and on behalf of the consultants, and yet we're still awaiting a reply. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Deputy. Uh, Minister, you have four minutes. Thank you. Um, I suppose just to say Minister Harris is obviously unable to be here today um, due to a pre-arranged meeting which couldn't be rescheduled, so he sends his 
Apologies. Uh, Minister Harris received the report on the independent clinical review of the need for provision of a second cath lab at University Hospital Waterford on foot of the programme for government commitment. The report was completed by Dr Niall Herity, a highly respected Belfast-based cardiologist. It is a comprehensive report which reflects the fact that Dr Herity consulted widely and met with all of the key stakeholders, including the management and staff of both University Hospital Waterford and Cork University Hospital. Dr Herity's calculation of the catchment population for the University Hospital Waterford Cat Lab has been challenged since publication of the review. In his report, Dr Herity quite rightly points out that it would be a mistake to assume that the catchment area of University Hospital Waterford is represented by every resident in Waterford and its surrounding counties. Dr Herity therefore determined the effective catchment population by looking at regional patient flow data and combining this with 2016 census data in relation to the population of Waterford and surrounding counties. Dr Herity has provided robust evidence that a second cardiac cat lab at UHW is not justified. However, he recommends increasing the number of weekly sessions currently provided, along with the requisite additional staffing for the increase in sessions, in order to address waiting times and to provide improved access. He also recommends that new specialist equipment be provided to improve contingency for radiological equipment failure during a procedure. The Minister is happy to provide the additional resources necessary to implement these recommendations and, as such, significantly improve services for patients at UHW. This investment will be reflected in the HSC National Service Plan for 2017. During this period of investment and enhancement of services, the situation will be closely monitored. A further independent clinical review will be carried out in early 2017 to assess the impact that these improvements have had on the volume of patients attending the cath lab in University Hospital Waterford. Dr Herity has recommended that the UHW cath lab should operate as an elective lab which provides all specialised cardiac services except interventional treatment for patients who are having heart attacks. Dr Herity has also recommended that the current 9 to 5 provision of these services should cease to allow the hospital to focus on the much larger volume of planned cath lab work. Minister Harris has to be certain that any change to how a service is delivered will result in improved services for the patients using that service, and therefore he has asked the Department to address the implications of this recommendation by undertaking a national review of all primary PCI services with the aim of ensuring that as many patients as possible have access on a 24-7 basis to safe, sustainable emergency interventions following a heart attack. It is expected this review will be completed by the end of July. Um, I suppose to finally say Minister Harris intends to visit the University Hospital of Waterford in the coming weeks um, and has said that he will take the opportunity to speak with the staff management on a broad range of issues. I think, the minister's, thank you. I think the Minister's response is quite extraordinary and I know this is coming from the Minister for Health himself. When the response says that Dr Harity quite rightly points out that it would be a mistake to assume that the catchment area of University Hospital Waterford is represented by every resident in Waterford and its surrounding counties and goes on to say that he therefore determined the effective catchment population be looking at the regional patient flow data. How does that sit with official HSE policy and department policy that University Hospital Waterford is the regional hospital for the South East? Has policy changed? Is the Minister now saying that University Hospital Waterford is no longer a regional hospital? It's some sort of glorified general hospital? Log on to the HSC website, Google University Hospital Waterford. What comes up? University Hospital Waterford is a regional hospital providing regional services, including cardiology. So was Dr Higgins lied to when a commitment was given that we would continue to provide invasive cardiology services to the people of the South East? Was he lied to? Were the people of the South East lied to? Uh, were hospital consultants lied to? Because that's what it seems to me when I read this response when it says that he was quite right to assume. Why should he assume? Is that our policy or it's not policy? He has no right to assume and nobody has a right to assume. It should have been based on medical, clinical need and existing policy. You, and in my view, existing policy is that University Hospital Waterford is a regional hospital. And you need to explain to the people of the South East, has that policy changed? Thank you, Deputy, Deputy Mary Butler. Uh, Gordon, last Minister, in Waterford City last Saturday, in excess of 2,000 people marched in miserable weather of wind and rain to voice their anger and dismay at the lack of 24-7 cardiology cover in Waterford. Minister, Minister Harris consistently stated that he was accepting the Herity report because it was an independent clinical report. Well, I need the Minister to answer the following question. There was a note prepared by the HSE's Acute Hospital Policy Unit 3, 
refer to this note was given to Dr. Herity and it referred to the growing public and political pressure in the Waterford region to build a staff, to build and staff an additional cat lab at the hospital and to expand the existing services to 24-7. However, this is all in the note. It has been the view of the department that providing additional facilities and extending PPCI services in a geographical area which does not have the population base to justify such a service would be wasteful of very limited resources. The Minister tells us this is um, an independent clinical review. In my opinion, this is gross interference, interference from the HSE. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Deb. Uh, Minister, you have two minutes. So it's just to again reiterate that um, Minister Harris has to be certain that any changes to service will deliver the results that will improve services um, to, to the patients using those services. Um, and I think the fact that the Minister has um, indicated that he intends to visit the University Hospital in the coming weeks um, and that he will meet with these organisations, I think you will have an opportunity to raise a lot of the questions that you've asked here um, and obviously go into them in more greater detail. Concludes uh, item number three, uh, and we're back to number two in the names of uh, Debbie Fitzmorrison and Rabbit. I'm, and I'm informed.